Oi, what's happening? I'm Eddie, the Skinhead Gourmet. And getting ready for St. Patrick's Day, today we're going to make Irish potatoes, a confection that has as much to do with being Irish as most St. Patrick's Day celebrations have to do with St. Patrick. Oi. If the band would play something sweet and slow, I'd take you in my arms, babe, I'd pull you close. We'd dance to the rhythm of our beating hearts, the jaws So this little confection, Irish potatoes, is something I grew up with as a child eating through up through my early 20s growing up in Philadelphia. It was something that was always available coming up on St. Patrick's Day. There were a bunch of local candy shops that made them. My grandmother would make them at home every year. Since I've left the Philadelphia area, I haven't seen them. I figured maybe I'll spread the word. They're a tasty little treat. They're super easy to make. And about the only things Irish about them is they do look like little potatoes and you can you know, Irish them up a little bit with the addition of a little bit of alcohol, which of course we're going to be doing here. The first step in our process here is we're going to take our butter. We've had out for a little bit, so it's been able to soften up a little bit. We're going to add our confectioner's sugar, our cream cheese, our vanilla extract, and a little bit of our liqueur of choice, whatever one we're going to choose to use. I could suggest using Bailey's Irish Cream, Jameson Whiskey would be good, Creme is a very nice flavor, as would Malibu Rum. Go with what you, know, you want to add the flavor of. You're not going to be putting enough in here to get loaded off of. It's just going to be adding a hint of flavor and something a little bit indulgent which you know, would be in keeping with the St. Patrick's Day feast day, which was usually the one day in Lent where restrictions on alcohol and meat would be lifted and be celebrated with dancing and music and copious drinking. Truth be told, I wouldn't mind if you were the one who stood by my side, scheming and dreaming and sharing our time, a partner in crime just like Bonnie and Clyde, but you can't. ever made a buttercream or a cream cheese frosting, this ought to look very familiar to you. And basically that is what we're making, but you're going to want to get this mixed up so it's consistent, it's fairly smooth, and everything's homogenous. You don't want to have big hunks of butter sitting through the middle of your mixture. Once you get it to this point, now it's time to add your coconut. And you're going to want to start mixing this in. If during the mixing process the mixture seems like it's a little too loose or thin or it doesn't want to ball up and get firm the way you want it, don't be afraid to add a little bit more coconut or a little bit more confectioner's sugar. You can always just add a little bit, stir it in, see how it works. It's always easier to put more in than take it out. So you can always be patient with this and just slowly work in enough until you get the mix where you want it to be. Once you've gotten your mixture to a nice thick pasty consistency, we're going let to let it rest in the fridge for about a half hour so it can cool, firm up a little bit, and be easier to work with. It's been about a half hour, so we're going to take our mix out. You can see it's nice and firm. This is going to be perfect for what we plan on doing with it. One of the reasons we wanted it nice and thick was so we can roll it into these little balls. We can actually roll it into something a little bit more potato shaped. And now we're just going to roll it through the cinnamon, get a nice little coat on it, and just lay it out on a plate. Oh, 
And then you should roll up the last two little balls. You're going to want to leave these guys laid out on a plate or a tray. Pop them in the fridge. At least if, and after an hour, they'll harden up again. We'll make for a wonderful little candy treat to enjoy around St. Patrick's Day. Uh, anyway, I'm Eddie, the Skinhead Gourmet. Enjoy the candies, enjoy the holiday, and oi! Bye-bye.